हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर नीतू जैन वर्किंग एज एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर एट इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन न्यू डेली टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक मैनेजिंग डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रेनिज बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द डिस्कशन लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द कंटेंट्स प्रॉब्लम्स फेस बाई द ट्रेनर्स मैनेजिंग डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रेनिज टैक्टिक्स टू हैंडल डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रेनिज फॉलोड बाई समरी After completing this module the students will be able to explain different types of trainees and their reactions discuss the measures a trainer can take to handle these trainees and their reactions problems faced by the trainers there are many problems that are faced by the trainers while conducting their sessions and delivering their content in a training situation the toughest problem is the one which comes from the trainees themselves when they try to hamper the progress of training for one reason or the other the problem arises from the behavior and personality of the trainees where there are different types of trainees and each one would behave in a different way and that the trainer can find it hard to deal with them during the session it is important to deal with them to end up with fruitful outcomes in the training session there are different types of trainees first of all talkative trainees these types of trainees participate a lot not necessary everything they speak is relevant however they have a tendency to drag the conversation and go off track introvert trainees these type of trainees remain quiet and hide themselves in the background they do not participate in the discussions there can be many reasons for such behavior for example lack of confidence difficulty to understand and lack of interest etc trainees who keep joking it is good to make some jokes in between the session to reduce the boredom but that doesn't mean to turn the whole session into a joke and fun laughter is a good medicine of course but the nature and frequency of jokes need to be observed fourth knowledgeable trainees or trainees who know everything these type of trainees are not actually a problem for the trainers but the presence of them can affect the progress of other participants with less knowledge argumentative trainees these trainees argue on everything trainer says and are extra judgmental trainer has to deal with such trainees very carefully as they might argue just to seek attention slow learners these trainees take more time to understand a topic it may be because of their age or learning ability etc unfocused participants sometimes in the training session there can be trainees who are unfocused who don't know why and for what purpose they are sitting in training they may show off as someone inattentive or wandering off it is important to let the participants know where you are going by giving them overview of the process destructive criticism this type of trainee usually criticizes the results given by the class or by the trainer and they always criticize different things destructive criticism is very harmful for the learning situation in a training environment and criticism could be pertaining to any administrative issue such as classroom or it could be related to the trainer as well learner for these participants the priority is personal growth and professional development they want to make full use of learning opportunity that the training program presents to them they are keen to participate in all program related activities self seeker self seeking participants come with a strong personal agenda and motives to the program their attempt is to acquire position of control and influence in the group they are willing to go to any extent to reach their objectives manipulating the group or even the trainer is part of their grand plan to achieve their goal detest trainees some participants are not only indifferent to the training process but they remain distant from the participants as well they do not want to be a part of the social process the reason for this behavior can be varied some of them may be unwilling participants 
a few lack faith in training and they show no interest in what is happening around them could be any of the reasons socializer these participants regard their participation in the program as an opportunity to cultivate new relationships and make new friends generally they possess sound interpersonal skills and you will find them all over the place even before the program commences the tourist these type of trainees come to the program as it satisfies their desire to travel and visit places and we all know the cost of the program is sponsored by the training agency or their organization it is a sort of good paid holiday for them critique or fault finder for the purpose of this discussion by a critique or fault finder we mean a participant who has the compulsive urge to criticize almost everything connected with the delivery of the program or the physical environment no all these are the participants who are not inclined to accept the need for training and feel that they know almost everything that the training program intends to focus on the shy or quiet one coaching is very verbal activity rich with questions and dialogue it is important to recognize that not all participants process in the same manner those who are shy or quiet may benefit more from a small group or paired work or individual reflection activities the super achiever the super achiever can pose a challenge for some trainers as their endless achievements may cause concerns and feelings of inadequacy in other group members the center of attention it can be common to have someone who wants to be the center of attention there are several roles you can invite them to participate in such as role of a time keeper flip charter note taker some of these roles will give them the spotlight and fill the need of being seen the sidebar although it may be more frequent in a workshop or larger groups the sidebar conversation occurs when two group members have their own conversations while others are trying to speak tactics to handle different types of trainees talkative trainees to handle such trainees a trainer needs to give time limit for everyone to speak during the session he should involve other participants in the conversation if talking continues ask the questions directly to the chatter boxes once they find themselves in the spot they might keep quiet never enter into argument with such trainees because it will waste the time and gently try to deal with them introvert trainees to handle such trainees ask them questions encourage them to participate make constant eye contact with them try to create small groups and pair them with talkative one make them the leader in group activity give them responsibility introvert like to write down their ideas so give them such opportunity to foster critical thinking third trainees who keep joking to deal with such trainees a trainer should not take the jokes personally if the jokes are inappropriate and offensive trainer has to tell the trainee that this behavior will not be accepted and ask him to stop that knowledgeable trainees to handle such trainees best way is to tell such trainee that he knows everything but others have to learn too bounce their questions back to others and create an environment for healthy discussion appreciate their knowledge because these trainees can bring creativity argumentative trainees to handle such trainees a trainer should quit the discussion by saying let us hear others opinion because if he does not quit the discussion will go go on and on and that would eat away the time of the training slow learners to handle such trainees be patient in, in handling their queries give extra time to them make them team with smarter trainees so that they can learn try to change the method of teaching to make them understand unfocused participants it is important to let the participants know where you are going by giving them overview of the process 
opportunities should be provided to them by asking questions such as what are your goals what you need to achieve what is expected from the training session destructive criticism type while providing feedback in difficult circumstances avoid being judgmental or assuming motives encourage trainees to reflect on the event and suggest improvements themselves focus on the positive aspect ensure that the trainees agree with the feedback and admits responsibility for part of the problem learner it is important that you turn them into allies in your task of promoting the learning process by encouraging and extending active support to them they can become the role model for other participants summary this module discusses different types of trainees we have discussed that a trainer can counter different types of trainees such as talkative trainee unfocused participants slow learners argumentative trainees introvert trainees knowledgeable trainees in an effective manner by understanding their behavior and reaction and by keeping cool a participant's motivation and response to various learning stimuli is not always predictable therefore a trainer needs to take different measures to handle these different type of trainees and their reactions thank you friends